For patients with arteries that are too small for catheter-based aortic valve replacement, the Henry Ford Center for Structural Heart Disease developed a new approach that has changed the way the world treats patients with these challenges. It's called transcaval aortic valve replacement. There are those patients who are too high risk for a surgical approach who also don't have vessels large enough to deliver the transcatheter valve. In our attempt to help these patients who would otherwise be helped by the technology, we had to invent another way to deliver the valve. To perform the valve replacement, doctors access the larger in parallel vessel, the femoral vein, to transport the catheter and the new valve. Once near a larger section of the aorta, they cross through the wall of the vein into the aorta to deliver the valve. After the valve is in place, the catheter is pulled back and the entry holes are plugged as it exits the vessels. We have refined the technique enough that actually a crossing over and creating the conduit between the two vessels is predictable and straightforward. This approach has now been taught throughout the U.S. and in Europe, improving the lives of thousands of patients who previously had little hope of survival. The transcaval approach is one that's been pioneered by the Henry Ford group. We went kind of out of desperation and it worked very well for the very first patient. Uh, since then, um, the procedure now is being done around the country and there's been an enormous interest in other institutions in learning how to do it. To learn more about the procedure or to schedule a consultation with the team at the Henry Ford Center for Structural Heart Disease, call 313-916-1878 or go to henryford.com slash structural heart.